welcome to Caleb's Creative Designs. Today we're going to go ahead and learn how to make some Christmas barstool decorations. Let's get started. This Christmas barstool decoration, you only need a couple of things and it's very simple. You just need your wreath, a Christmas embellishment just for your pop of color, some ribbon, your scissors, a glue gun if you have one, but if you don't, you can always use some safety pins. So those are the only things that you'll need for this project. Let's get to it. All right, just to let you guys know too how I do this, you're just gonna go ahead and separate the actual wreath so that you can see the wire part. And I don't use any glue. I don't use any glue. So you just go ahead and put it in there, poke it in, wherever you're going to put it. And then you're just gonna go ahead and twist the actual um, embellishment. It has a wire, so it's really easy. It just, as you can see, they're all going in there. And then you can go ahead and just place the leaves accordingly so it looks nice. And that's very simple. You just do the same thing on each side. And again, all I do is bring it towards the back. And I just simply safety pin. Once we've completed this, you see how simple it is. You don't want to put too much on there so it takes away from the actual feature of it. So once we've done that, we want to go ahead and create a bow. Just as I've done here, we're going to go ahead and show you how to make this. So you're just going to get your ribbon and you're going to cut it. You're going to make sure that you cut them about the same size. Depending on how long you actually want your bow, if you want a smaller bow or a bigger bow, I actually cut this a little bit longer so that you can see both. Um, but once you've cut them, you're going to go ahead and put them side to side just like I just did here and just kind of match them up a little bit as we did here and then on the inside you're just going to kind of roll it in just like I did here just going to roll it in but you're going to just pull it down so it kind of makes a little bit of a tear same thing on this side you're going to roll it in and you can actually roll it inside of the ribbon if it's easier for you and then just pull so that it's easier for you, okay? Then on these ones, you're gonna go ahead and just pull them in to make an actual bow, and then the other side you'll make as well. Then once you do that, you can either glue gun it. I actually just safety pin it. It's a lot easier to um, safety pin right now only because this will allow you each year to go ahead and change out the ribbon if you want to. Uh, but you can glue gun it if you like it the way it is and you don't you think you're not going to change it again, then leave it as is. Otherwise, you can go ahead and just safety pin the piece so that it's all set. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and attach, um, I went ahead and attached the bows that we were making earlier. So again, it's just the piece there. 
I went ahead and safety pinned it onto the actual um, uh, ribbon. Now we're just basically measuring it on the bar stools. I'm just going by where the middle par portion of this is and then going at the tip of the actual bar stool. So I'm just going around the actual seat and coming around. I'm gonna bring it back up to here so that it won't move. And then from there, I'm gonna safety pin again. And this is just so that you're not hot glue gunning and getting things anywhere. You just don't wanna make sure that you mess up any material. And again, you can, out, um, you can change the ribbons every year if you need to. And again, I wasn't sure the height of the, the actual um, ribbons. So what you would do is just basically cut the ribbon where it's at and then go from there. So we'll just go ahead and cut. And I'm not cutting a whole bunch, but just enough to get it there. And then we're just gonna make sure that it secures to the actual chair. and then hide that extra that we cut earlier. And there you go. And so here is the finished product.